कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर फाइव फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स दीज आर दी सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दीज आर फॉरवर्ड कमिटमेंट्स दैट मीन्स बोथ द पार्टीज आर ऑब्लिकेटेड टू परफॉर्म सम काइंड ऑफ एक्शन एंड आर ट्रेडेड ओवर द काउंटर दिस मीन्स दैट दीज आर कस्टमाइज इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लेट इज टेक एन एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेट्स ए देर इज अ बायर एंड हिज नेम इज एलॉन and he is into some kind of business which requires lithium metal and uh, he requires it in large quantities let's say 100 tons and he'll be needing this one year down the line not today let us draw a timeline here let's say the price of lithium today is 30 dollars per kg so what is the concern of mr elon he is concerned that the price of lithium is rising at a very fast pace and by the time he will need lithium the prices might shoot up to as high, as high as 40 dollars so in order to take some protection against rising prices which is also called hedging in order to hedge the risk of rising prices mr alone can approach a seller he is the seller who deals in lithium and tries to negotiate some price with him so let's say they negotiate it for 35 okay now you can argue that why the seller will agree for 35 because he is of this opinion that in one year the prices will not be above 35 he has a different opinion okay so they can now no one knows what is actually going to happen at the end of year 1 right so they have entered into a contract on this day this is year 0 today and as on today there is no form of payment from the buyer to the seller coming to one year later what happens let's say the prices of lithium has actually risen to 40 dollars in that case no matter what is the price in the market mr elon has to pay 35 dollar per kg and he can buy this entire quantity at this price only okay so he will make the payment and receive the goods from the seller so this is a situation of a deliverable forward where the seller is actually delivering the goods he has promised for okay this is usually done in case of commodities however if instead of a lithium dealer if the buyer has done if mr elon has done this agreement with a bank in that case the bank will not be able to deliver lithium to elon right so what bank will do bank will make the payment to elon in cash what the bank will do bank will ask elon that okay you were ready to pay 35 dollars for lithium as on today the difference that is there in the market that is $5 the bank will pay it to elon and as a result elon will have now 40 and can use it for buying lithium directly from the market okay so this is the payment that the bank will have to pay to elon so this payment is computed as the current stock price that is the current price of the commodity minus the forward price that is 40 minus 35 on the other hand if in, in case the price as on the expiry date remains at 30 in that case elon will lose because what is available in the market for 30 he will have to now buy it for 35 okay so the in that case the loss for elon will be 30 minus 35 that is minus 5 okay so this is that is called the payoff and uh, the position of the buyer the position that elon has taken in this case is called the long position because he is buying the underlying and the position of the seller is called short in the market terminology okay and one last thing let's say as on this date that is in the middle of the contract if elon feels that the price of lithium is not rising instead it is falling let's say the price on this particular date is 29 dollars so elon sees it does not make sense to continue this contract as the prices are anyway falling so can elon cancel this contract as on in the middle of the term before maturity the answer is yes how it can be done by simply making the settlement as on that date 
since Elon is losing in this case, right? He has a right to buy for 35 and the price as on this date is 29. So in order to cancel this contract, now he will have to take a opposite position. The opposite position will be sell and the current market price is 29. So he will have to sell it for 29 and the differential that is $6 will be his loss. Okay, so he can pay it to the bank and cancel this contract as on this particular date. So this is called offsetting that is closing out a forward position before delivery before the maturity. All right, and this thing is called cash settlement. Whenever the transactions are settled in cash instead of delivery, it is called non deliverable forward or cash settled or contracts for differences. So in case of commodities and gold and stocks, there can be deliverable as well as non deliverable forwards as per the terms of the contract. However, in case of market indexes like S&P 500, in that case, there cannot be a physical delivery, right? It has to be settled in cash. All right. So that's it for forward contracts.